Hi all, hope you are doing well. My name is Danny and I'm going to be talking about my first year on Amazon KDP. So if that's something that you're interested in, then stick around and watch the rest of the video. So I'm going to break down this video into three separate parts. So first of all, I'm going to be talking about my earnings and just going through the details. And then I'm going to be talking about the best books and finally the lessons learned. So you can find the timestamps in the description. OK, so we're going to be having a look at my income in KDP Champ. So as you can see in the right hand corner, my total royalties since I started $7,106.97 with 2,970 book sales. Something that I'm really pleased with. I have put in a lot of effort in my spare time. So it's nice to see these results. And my first month, so I started off in June 2020 and the first three months my book sales were kind of quite similar. My first two or three sales was my own as I did try to just get a feel for the, the business and also to see what the customer would receive as well. So I was pleased this month to receive a total royalties of $30.41 and 17 book sales as well. July was kind of similar, a little bit lower, $23.40 with 13 book sales. And as I said, August as well, a little bit lower with $22.59. But I was happy to be making sales. It did kind of prove that this model does work. I am able to make sales. So it's just something that I continued with into September 2020. So I did have kind of a logbook that really took off for me that I did get quite a few sales from that. And that resulted in total royalties of $92.88. And again, really happy with this kind of my biggest earning month so far. Then going into October 2020, so the sales did go down a little bit. That logbook was still selling for me, so I was still getting sales. However, it wasn't selling as much, but still 30 book sales overall in that month. And then November 2020 was the month that things kind of really took off for me. So I had a planner that got a lot of sales from, again, really, really happy with this however the only thing i would like to say is just make sure that you get your books out early because i actually got a lot of these books out in november 2020 so if i maybe put them out around september then uh, i would have seen a lot bigger sales kind of during this period but i'm pleased happy with this amount and then december 2020 was when things really took off and to say that this is something that I would have imagined was crazy. I mean, this somehow I never really expected this until maybe my, my second year. And it just shows you how putting in kind of consistent work over long periods, how it can pay off. So a lot of the books from the previous month, again, that snowball effect, it was really, really paying off getting sales. I also started to run ads a little bit as well, which helped push my books up that a little bit more but yeah I mean this amount really really blew my mind and it just goes to show what what is capable using Amazon KDP and in January 2021 so I did expect my sales to go down a little bit it was something that a lot of the YouTubers were kind of saying that it's kind of one of the, the lower periods during the year so I did expect sales to drop down but 630 seven dollars and 74 cents still a really good amount with 237 book sales and those planners were kind of still selling on during this january time now i saw another drop in february 2021 so in this month 
February 2021, I had $357.02. And kind of for this month and the next two months after, it was just kind of maintaining a level with my income. It wasn't as up and down as kind of it had been. And it's a good thing to be able to see consistent sales. So the similar amount for the next two months. So March 2021, I was looking at $330.70. While April 2021, you're looking at $369.71. So that was just a real period of stability, getting sales. I was still running a few ads throughout that the period, but just a lot of similarities there and then things started to take off in May 2021 so I had a few activity books and log books and a few planners that as well that were doing quite well around this period there was quite a few things that I was targeting for June and July as there was a lot of kind of events going on that month so I started to see these sales picking up and then June things really exploded. My biggest month so far was $1,723.21. This month is my biggest month today, which I was really excited about. I didn't think I'd be hitting four figures up until Q4 of this year. So it just shows you again that if you put in consistent work over long periods, you persist you keep adapting, you keep on creating better quality books, then the sales and success will come eventually if you don't give up. And then this month so far, I'm at $567.21 as well. So hopefully this month is another four figure month, but I'm happy with this income so far. So I have been running ads throughout this time as well so I do want to deduct that amount because this is the gross amount so far so to get the net amount I'm gonna to have to deduct the ads so I'm gonna to go to ads monitoring ads monitoring try and get that word out my mouth from KDP champ just let it load for one moment so this is the month to date, how much ads I've spent. So I'm going to go all the way back to June 2020 and just search the database so you can get the full amount. So as you can see here, I've invested $650.20 throughout this period. So my total income is $7,000. $106.97 and I'm going to minus $650.20 and this will give me the net amount of $6,456.77 Okay, so taking a look at the books that have really done well for me since I've started. I'm going to first have a look at my marketplace stats. So I'm going to go here in the left hand corner and just let that load. And then go back till June 2020. Perfect. Okay. So you can see that a large majority of my sales have come from Amazon co.uk followed by amazon.com roughly 30 percent few sales in canada which has been quite good as well then followed by germany and then france spain italy a few in japan and australia as well and as they've been newly introduced i'm hoping to get a few more sales from here hopefully throughout the the rest of the year as well. So just going into each individual book, I'm going to go into book stats. I'm going to let that load now and then again go all the way back 
till June 2020. Perfect. Okay. So just scrolling down, you can have a look at my first book and you can see this has kind of outsold all the rest of my books so far and this one is the planner that I talked about. The only issue with this is that it was a 2021 for some reason still been getting a few sales however as it's 2021 not really going not really planning on anyway getting much more sales towards this so this year i'm kind of thinking to do maybe quite a few more undated planners just to get you know them recurring consistent sales my next one is an activity book this was also recently done quite well for me as well the past two to three months has, has really 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 picked up just because it's coming towards obviously we are in a summer now anyway so it's something that you know activity books they do really well during the summer periods then the next one is a, a log book nothing too fancy about this one but it just has been selling consistently well I brought this up maybe around Jan, early February, and it's just been selling consistently every single month. Another one, another activity book as well, which is which has been doing really well for me, getting consistent sales. Brought this out maybe around three months ago. Uh, just another activity book for kids, followed by a log book again, and this one brought it out maybe around three months ago. Again, just consistent sales. It has kind of slowed down a little bit, but still getting sales here and there from that. So this one is actually a similar planner to the top one. It just has a different cover. The interiors are basically the same as well. Not really seeing too many sales from this one as well, which I kind of expect because, you know, it's kind of the time when people are looking towards 2022 planners really and then the rest going down are kind of a few uh, planners as well so kind of planners log books activity books got a few coloring books as well a few notebooks so the, those are the ones that have really done well for me so far <laughs> So the final area I just wanted to talk about is the lessons that I've learned so far and the first area I kind of just wanted to quickly talk about is comparisons. So throughout my journey I've kind of just been focused on my journey alone and that's something that has really helped especially them first few months when you know you don't see exactly the big amounts you know the four or five figures or whatever other people are earning. but. So, you know, some people are a fan of income reports and some people don't like them. I am personally am a fan. I think it really is good to see monthly what other people are earning. It kind of continues to give you that hope that you can do it, but it shouldn't be something that, you know, maybe you're jealous or, or anything like that of other people. Just keep focusing on your path and just keep on continually and consistently putting in the work and eventually the results will come for yourself and then the next thing I think that really helped me was kind of just setting targets as well so I gave myself maybe the first six months to at least earn three figures and I think that's something that is reasonable as well so this isn't something that I'm doing a full time I kind of do it with the spare time that I do have so each month that I was able to earn a little amount I was just celebrating the small goals kind of the small successes along the way and eventually that built me up to November so in my month five I was able to hit five figures and then month six things really blew up and I was able to at least hit four figures so just consider around Christmas time Q4 especially you know your sales are really going to go up so anytime 
or other month during the year don't really worry just know that q4 your sales are really going to go up and just make sure you especially you get your books out early as well that's something that i've learned from from the past year really try and get my books out as early as i can hopefully maybe around september time and then i'll probably just focus on marketing and then the final thing is just being able to adapt as well so if you feel you're confident enough in creating notebooks then make that step up as well maybe try and start to do journal journals maybe go into coloring books or activity books don't just you know stay focused on one area i think a good diverse kind of portfolio of books will definitely be profitable so i definitely i see a lot of sales from my log books activity books notebooks and it all definitely helps in the end and then finally, just enjoy the process as well. You know, we are in a great time where you're able to just simply use your laptop and make money as well. And Amazon, great KDP is a really great platform and something that as soon as you get the hang of it, you find your own niches, you find books that work really well for you then keep on kind of doubling down and just keep on creating those books and enjoy the process as well. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this. And if you're interested in more videos, like, comment and subscribe. Take care.